The Wisconsin Department of Transportation plans to improve the I-3990 interchange with US-12 and 18, locally known as the Madison Beltline, as part of the ongoing I-3990 expansion project. The interstate is currently under construction and is being expanded from four to six lanes between the Illinois State Line and the Beltline Interchange near Madison. Based on the purpose and need of this interchange reconfiguration, three lanes will be built on I-3990 southbound through the core of the interchange. Wistot is considering alternatives for two or three lanes northbound through the core of the interchange. But what is the core of the interchange, and how would these alternatives impact traffic operations and safety? Let's find out. The core of the interchange is the area on I-3990 between the northbound ramps going to the Beltline and the northbound ramps coming from the Beltline. The proposed core is more than one mile long. The two-lane interchange improvement option carries three lanes on I-3990 past the off-ramp to the Beltline and drops one lane in the core prior to the northbound on-ramps from the Beltline. With this option, a third through lane is added back to the interstate from the Beltline on-ramp, like today. The on-ramp will also have an extended acceleration lane. The three-lane interchange improvement option carries three lanes on I-3990 through the core. With this option, all three proposed lanes on the ramp from the Beltline merge into I-3990. The alternative that drops from three lanes to two lanes within the core is being considered because of its operational benefits. At first glance, it might seem counterintuitive to drop a lane in the middle of the core, only to add it back several thousand feet later. You might be wondering if dropping a lane will create a bottleneck or lead to safety problems. To start this discussion, it's important to talk about the unique traffic patterns at this interchange. Northbound traffic approaching the Beltline interchange is anticipated to be 36,000 vehicles per day by the year 2040. Madison is a major destination for interstate travelers. Wistot expects one-third of northbound vehicles on the interstate to exit at the Madison Beltline, leaving a lower volume of traffic in the core. Approximately 23,200 vehicles per day will travel northbound through the core of the interchange. What's unique about this interchange is that the traffic volume on I-3990 within the core is significantly lower than the traffic volume on the ramp from the Beltline. The ramp from the Beltline onto I-3990 northbound is anticipated to carry 40,200 vehicles per day by the year 2040, 73% more traffic than on I-3990 traveling through the core of the interchange. Today, traffic volumes on the Beltline on-ramp are higher than I-3990 at almost all hours of the day, even on Friday afternoons in the summer. In the year 2040, on a busy summer Friday afternoon, 2,165 vehicles per hour are expected to travel north through the core. Normally, one travel lane can accommodate about 2,000 vehicles an hour before reaching capacity. Providing two lanes north of the core means a capacity of 4,000 vehicles, which is well above the expected 2,165 vehicles per hour in 2040 and beyond. These 2,165 vehicles only require two lanes of traffic, and with plenty of capacity to spare. There is a need for three lanes south of the Beltline, but between the on and off ramps in the core of the interchange, there is only demand for two lanes. For perspective, the recent reconstruction of one of Wisconsin's busiest interchanges in Milwaukee has only two lanes in the eastbound and westbound directions through the core of the interchange, while four lanes are provided before and after the interchange. Similar to the Beltline interchange, this interchange has significant ramp traffic that allows lanes to be split off prior to and added back after the core of the interchange. The most significant reason for dropping a lane in the core of the interchange, aside from the lack of traffic demand, is to improve the overall safety of the interchange. More vehicles required to change lanes often means more crashes. If two lanes continue through the core of the interchange, total traffic on the interstate and the northbound on-ramp from the Beltline will make a minimum of approximately 36,000 lane changes per day. If three lanes travel through the core of the interchange, total traffic on the interstate and the northbound on-ramp from the Beltline will make a minimum of approximately 69,000 lane changes per day, about 90% more than the two-lane option. Why the large difference? Well, if there are three lanes of travel through the core of the interchange, the higher traffic volume, which is on the ramp, not the interstate, is required to merge at least one lane, and sometimes up to three lanes. At first glance, it might not seem like a good idea to drop a lane in the middle of an interchange, only to add another lane a few thousand feet later. Know that Wistot considered the traffic and safety impacts of each alternative, and after thorough analysis and evaluation of each option, Wistot determined that the two-lane alternative was the safest and most efficient of the alternatives considered. For more information about this interchange project, Visit the I-3990 Expansion Project website at i39-90.wi.gov.